What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We have our annual Boston Bruins trade a player, and then uh, everyone talks shit after he leaves. Edition of the Power Play. I know different than Tyler Sagan two years ago. You know, he was a party animal. He was doing alcohol, drugs, cocaine. And it's, it's like he was Charlie Sheen. Actually, as I, I'm wearing a really cool Charlie Sheen theme shirt right now, so I figured I'd work that shout out in there. Uh, but, you know, he was uppity and a loner. None of that came up before you were shipped out of town. I mean, it's almost like the Bruins are trying. Yeah, I'm not even saying the Bruins. I'm not even accusing the Bruins of doing it, but it's like, yeah, we want to re-sign him. But oh, now that he's gone, yeah, we hate it and we never want him around anyway. It's like, really? That's you know, and uh, may, you know, maybe he's a little more introverted. Maybe he's into himself a little bit. Um, not even into himself. Kessel was kind of the same way. Kessel's really, really introverted by nature. He's not a bad person. It's not that he doesn't get along with his teammates. It's just, um, you know, it's it's tough. Um, you know, it is, you know, 23 guys in a locker room, 23 different personalities. And if someone's a little more quiet and to himself, what's wrong with that? Um, so that, that this being, first of all, I don't think it's a real reason I traded him. I think it's just Don Sweeney being a moron, uh, not giving him the contract he deserved. And I don't fault Dougie for trying to get paid. You know, you have a finite number of years to make money if you're a pro athlete. You know, taking less, especially, you know, you're a 22-year-old defenseman coming into your own and, you know, people around the league want you, is is foolish. So, you know, again, I, I hope, uh, you know, that, that this can be proven not true because it's just not fair to the kid. It's like, oh, yeah, goodbye. We hate you. It was the same thing with Sagan. You know, a lot of the Tyler Sagan stories, I'm sure some of them were true, because there were too many out there not for any of them not to be true, but, I mean, some of them were just, were, were slanderous. You know, they were character assassination. You know, and it, uh, these sources are nameless, and it's just not fair. Now, this is a lot different than accusing someone of being a, a drug addict. I mean, you know, that's six in one hand, half dozen in the other, not exactly. Uh, but, you know, I hope... Uh, you know, I think Dougie's a good kid from what I've heard. It, you know, just people got to make comments and, you know, talk behind closed doors and have the, the gall to throw, to show their face. So, um, again, wish Mother of the Best in Calgary. You know, wish she could have been a, a great part of the Bruins' future. But this is uh, this is what it all comes down to. Sometimes it's like watching the movie Mean Girls uh, transpire over NHL transactions. Can't script talking fools. Anyway, that adds all that episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.